Very good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Very good evening to all the leaders joining from Indian subcontinent. Good afternoon to leaders joining from Middle East. Good morning to all the leaders joining from UK, Europe. And I know there are a few leaders who are stretching themselves to join very early morning from Americas too. I warmly welcome each one of you to the 10th annual Global Business Services Conclave. Yes, this year it's virtual. I know many of you would be, you know, be participating, regular visitor to the Shared Services Forum. Uh, for the last nine years, we have been doing it all physical. I'm very excited and with all humility, feeling very proud. You know why? That's because of its 10th year. We started this knowledge events in 2011 which has become a full-fledged industry association, a platform well acknowledged and recognized for knowledge dissemination. I think we never visualized it. We never imagined it like that. But I'm very proud about it. The mission at Shared Services Forum, as you know, there are four typical areas of Shared Services Forum as we focus as part of this platform. The spirit, spreading awareness, of value and knowledge through events like this, through interactions like this. We do multiple events, sometimes functionally focused like finance summit, HR summit, and so on and so forth. Sometimes horizontal events, uh, focusing all across the business services gamut, uh, looking at technology and digital disruptions and so on and so forth. And we also do a lot of uh, you know, informal conversations, leadership interactions, evening, and so on and so forth. The objective of these events is all about sharing, exchanging learnings, sharing knowledge, sometimes success stories, and sometimes even a failure, because we firmly believe a failure has its own importance and a value in overall learning. Second area as part of the Shared Services Forum, as you would be knowing, we, we uh, focus and also have a mission is to establish winning practices through research. And we have a focused research desk, which looks at in terms of what next, uh, what has worked well, uh, talking with leaders like you, interacting with leaders like you and receiving a lot of uh, practices, understanding, and then compiling it together sometime as a capability framework. And you will be happy to know that we have so far done about 20 plus path breaking frameworks and uh, they have been well received by the business services space. We also have uh, a quarterly journal by name Process Edge and I'm sure many of you would be participating, contributing in the Process Edge, uh, being a regular reader as well as contributor to it. Uh, and I do encourage each one of you, uh, if not yet, please do contribute to the process edge. It's all about uh, by the practitioners, for the practitioners, of the practitioners kind of environment. The third dimension we focus at the Shared Services Forum is recognizing stellar achievements of organization as well as leaders. So we have an excellence awards and recognition and felicitation. This is the 10th year. Uh, today as well, and today and tomorrow, we'll be having a uh, few announcements of the awards and recognition. Uh, this awards and recognition is completely managed through a very rigorous process. There's an eminent jury panel. We work very closely uh, as a team and then go through multiple dimension and parameters to identify it. The intent is how to encourage leaders and the organizations to keep moving on to the journey what they have started. Last but not least, the most important element we focus is building a community, building a family. I think today we are a family uh, from business services industry standpoint, the shared services industry standpoint, uh, where we uh, pick up a line, think of what's happening, bringing more practitioners, ex you know, views, experts views, thought leadership, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that is something which uh, I think in the last 10 years we have achieved. Let me confess, this would have not been possible. And as I said, I would have never imagined at what where we are 
possible without the participation, encouragement, contribution from the industry colleague like yours. The way you have taken time out today out of a busy schedule to contribute and participate is phenomenal. And that's what I think uh, has been encouraging us for the last 10 years. Friends and all industry leaders who have always stood behind and supported us in this journey, I really want to be uh, expressing my sincere thanks and grateful to them for making this Shared Services Forum achieve its 10th anniversary. I thank all the partnering organization in the past, as well as uh, this year, supporting our mission, uh, our value as a knowledge partner. This year, UST we have as the principal sponsor, uh, corporate sponsors like SEMA and Experience Flow, and technology partner, Muniver Technologies. On behalf of Shared Services Forum organizing team, governing council members, I once again warmly welcome each one of you to this wonderful, insightful two days and look forward to a great knowledge sharing journey. Few rules as we start, and as you would know, you would have seen this, uh, some of the documents floating with you. Uh, there'll be, as every time, there'll be a few panelists uh, who will be coming in and some speakers will be coming in and sharing their experiences. There'll be a few people who will be listening in, and it's a rotation every time keeps on happening. Somebody will be listening this time and somebody will be talking next time. It's about, as, as I said, it's about peer sharing as we do in the industry. The two days has been uh, a design uh, such a way that we start now and we finish about 6.45 India time. And similarly, we start tomorrow at four, we finish about you know, 6.45 India time evening. Uh, there will be uh, right now after this, a keynote address. And then after that, we'll have a panel session followed by another panel conversation, uh, followed by excellence awards and recognition announcement for a few of the awards today evening. Tomorrow when we start at four o'clock, we have an interesting session from a doctor, a practitioner, uh, talking about the you know, lifestyle, and how to connect with some of the ailments like diabetes, et cetera, uh, which is something which is very different and you all as a professional should find some time to listen to it. Uh, we continue with another panel. Uh, that panel is again a very interesting one. Uh, which will talk about outsmarting digital disruption. And then we have a, a last panel, uh, but a very important one, which is talking about the overall business panorama to look at how this tectonic shift in culture is, is going to be critical for the next normal. With that, we will come to the uh, final session tomorrow with an excellence awards and recognition. Uh, so some awards will be announced tomorrow and so on. And with that, we'll close this conclave. So just wanted to give you a sense of how we are going to uh, you know, move from today to tomorrow and certainly urge you all to continue to be part of this journey today and tomorrow as well. Uh, with this, uh, I would like to uh, Welcome, uh, you know, Ravi Ramakrishnan to do a keynote address. And before I, I, I pass on to him, I think uh, all, all speakers' profiles are circulated. It is available on the website as well. So I'm not going to read about it. And I think Ravi doesn't need even introduction. I think Ravi is one of the doin of this business services space. I think the last, particularly to 25 years, two and a half decades, the way he has, uh, uh, with his passion, grit, and guidance and mentorship to many leaders across the industry. The way he has uh, you know, brought his thought leadership, uh, it's, it's always going to be a pleasure listening to you, Ravi. Thanks for finding this time. I'm going to pass on to Ravi and request you to enlighten us with your some of the thought process. So over to Ravi and I'll come back after that. Thank you.